how to use the Google Ads Keyword Planner tool in 2023. In this video, I have a full masterclass explaining just exactly what the Google Ads Keyword Planner tool is, how it works, how to effectively use it, and how to ultimately find keywords that are right for your business that you can go ahead and target and start to generate leads and sales with. So what exactly is the Google Ads Keyword Planner tool? Well, it's a tool inside of Google Ads that you can go ahead and select and enter in relevant search terms that you want to target. And once you do enter in those terms, Google Ads is going to spit out a various host of different related keywords that you can go ahead and target based on all of Google's collective data around keywords that people are searching for. So armed with this information, you can take those keywords, effectively plan around which keywords that you actually want to target that are relevant for your business, for your goals, and then start to map out and select which keywords you're going to ultimately target so that you can build an effective Google Ads campaign around those keywords. And the Keyword Planner tool is really that simple. It doesn't need to be overly complex. That's how we use it at our digital advertising agency. We're literally just using it to ideate. We're putting in keywords that we think are relevant for the business that we're going to be advertising for. So whether that's a physiotherapy clinic, whether that's an e-learning company, whether that's an e-commerce company, we're taking keywords related to their product or services, we're putting them in there, and we're getting a giant collection of all the possible keywords that people are frequently searching for so that we have a host of different keyword ideas to go ahead and target. And we're going to get search volume, we're going to get estimates on cost per click in our target location, and a host of other things that are super, super helpful when building out your Google Ads search campaign. That's a quick summary on the Google Ads Keyword Planner tool. Now, let's go ahead and jump into my computer and let me show you this tool live in action and how you can best use it. All right, awesome. So as you can see, we are now inside of my Google Ads account. If you haven't already set up a Google Ads account, you're going to want to make sure to do that. I have some other tutorials on the channel on how to set up a Google Ad account, but you're going to want to get to a page that looks like this. Now, I am in in the uh, old view. So you can change this view here. Uh, you'll probably see Google Ads looks like this. Um, the only difference is I just have the view like this. I just prefer that. So uh, if you're wondering why the dashboard looks a little bit different, that would be why. Now, once you're in the actual back end of Google Ads here, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and navigate to tools and settings in the top right here. I'm going to be blocking that a little bit. Let me just move myself down here, open up tools and settings, and then go to the keyword planner tool under planning. And that's going to open up a page that looks like this. Now, as you can see here, we have a bunch of different plans that we've created and we work with a lot of clients. We usually use our own Google ad account here to plan and do audits for clients where we're going to identify different keywords for their business and the potential impact that we can have. You can do a lot of different things with these plans and you want to create a different plan, which we're going to get into for each of the different product or service categories that you may have. For example, if you are a physiotherapy clinic, uh, let's say you do physiotherapy services and you also do chiropractic services and you also do acupuncture, for example. If that is the case, you wanna create a keyword plan for each of these different services as, as those are obviously different intent-based searches that you're gonna to wanna to appropriately sync up with your ads so that your ad matches the appropriate keyword or service that you are targeting. And you're going to also want to sync up the landing page with those keywords that you're targeting to make it more effective. Uh, that's a little bit more high level, more technical, but let's go ahead and see how to use the Google Ads Keyword Planner tool. Now you have three different options here, discover new keywords, get search volume and forecasts and organize keywords into ad groups. I pretty much only use the discover new keywords and get search volume and forecast tool. This tool is effective for actually organizing those keywords into ad groups later on. However, I usually just manually add in the keywords when I create the campaign, so I wouldn't worry about that for now. The most important and effective one is discover new keywords. Click on this discover new keywords, and it's going to open up this, which you can start with a website, as you can see here, or you can start with keywords, and then you can change the location here and the countries, and then that's going to give you some different keyword ideas for the terms that you enter. So let's go ahead and go with start with new keywords here. Now, I'm going to change the location here to Canada and the United States. So if you wanted to do a specific location, maybe you wanted to do only a state or only a specific city, then you can go ahead and enter that. For example, I'm in Winnipeg, so you can go ahead and enter Winnipeg and you can target just that if you want and remove these other two places. And then boom, now you're just targeting Winnipeg. So for our example, I'm going to target all of Canada and all of the United States. And I'm going to exit this out and I'm going to go save. So now we are targeting Canada and the United States. Now say in this particular example, I'm going to be running these ads for a mushroom supplement company. Let's say that that is the example of the, for the type of search terms that we want to get some results for. If we sell mushroom supplements, the most likely keyword that you want to add in right away is just mushroom supplements, right? So mushroom supplements, uh, you can go ahead and add that keyword in. Now, if you have no other idea of other keywords that you can target, then you can literally just do this. And this is going to give you a ton of results for mushroom supplements, but you can also feel free to add in some other keywords related to more specific products. 
or anything like that. I'm just going to start with mushroom supplements, keep it really simple here, and go get results. Now, once I go get results, you're going to see in Canada and the United States now, as you can see here on the screen, we have a total search volume for mushroom supplements. This is essentially like broad match. So all the things that fall under mushroom supplements is going to be what's included in here. So you can see uh, in September, there was a total of 254,000 searches for mushroom supplements and related keywords. Now, just the actual term here, mushroom supplements, as you're going to see, it's a lot less here. You can see the search volume is only about 14K. That is because this is for this keyword specifically. So if you just targeted the keyword mushroom supplements. That is all that this is showing here. And this graph on the top is showing all of these subsequent search terms combined together. So you can see there's 1,280 different search keywords that you could potentially target. And so that's adding all of these up here. And that's showing this total volume here. Once we can see we have 10 rows here, I'm just going to go to 200 rows and you can go, it's going to be sorted by the average searches per month. So you can see the top search after mushroom supplements here is we have a lion's mane supplement, which is the main active ingredient in mushroom supplements in this case. So that is lion's mane supplement. We also have AHCC supplement. We have lion's mane powder. You can keep scrolling here. You have mushroom complex, mushroom capsules, reishi mushroom powder, uh, genius mushrooms, lion's mane mushroom extract, tons of different things that you can go ahead and look through here. And again, this is going to be sorted by search volume. What you can also do here is just actually filter this down. So it is actually sorted by search volume here. And you can see all these different search queries. Now, once I have all of these, you can start to select out which ones that you think are relevant for your business that you want to target. Let's say you want to target mushroom supplements and you also want to target lion's mane supplements, supplement mushroom, lion's mane powder, mushroom capsules, mushroom pills, mushroom extract, best mushroom supplements, shroom tech, shiitake mushroom extract, and let's just do genius mushroom extract. So let's say all of these keywords that we found here, and again, I would recommend you go through this entire list, really look through here. And this is going to give you a really good understanding of what people are actually searching for. And it's just great market research to identify, you know, how much people are actually searching for your product or services. What is the three month change? Is there more people searching for this actively or is there less people searching for this on a year to year basis? And you can see mushrooms is actually a very, very much growing trend. People are really searching for this product. You can see the year on year change is very, very hot here. So now once you've selected those keywords, before we actually go ahead and save these keywords, right, you can save them to a campaign or ad group, or you can just save the keywords and create a plan that there is these different columns here in the keyword planner. So you have your average monthly searches, you have your three month change, your year on year change, your competition, your ad impression share, your top page view, and your top page view bid high. So this essentially is, again, your average search monthly terms for each of these keywords here. So for Lion's Mane Supplement, this is how much people are searching for Lion's Mane Supplement. For uh, su Supplement Mushroom, this is how many people are searching for that. You can scroll over these and you can see that search volume for each of these keywords by doing that. The three month change is how much increase in search volume there is on a three month basis. So three months comparing to the previous three months. For the year on year change is how many people are searching for this keyword on a year year on year basis. Then you also have your competition for this keyword, which in this case is high. So that means a lot of people are bidding on this keyword and the competition is going to be high. And so subsequently, the cost per click is usually going to be higher for this keyword because it's a high intent based keyword that a lot of brands, a lot of businesses are bidding on and also want a share of the pie. So that's the competition level. If you scroll down here, you can see a lot of this is going to be high. In my experience, most of the keywords that you're going to be searching for for most businesses are going to have a high competition level. Uh, if you look at ad impression share here, if you had some ads running, it would show your actual ad impression and share on these keywords. Right now, it just shows nothing because we haven't actually spent anything. Then you also have your top page bid, which is your low range and your top page bid high range. This is the cost per click that you can expect on the low end and on the high end for this keyword on average. So it's giving you a range here of what to expect. And this is in Canadian dollars. So if you are in the US or whatever country, this is going to give you that range in your currency that you've selected for your Google ad account. This gives you a really good basis, again, a really good research on what these keywords are going to cost you, what the search volume is, and starting to filter down which keywords you actually want to target for your business. So again, once you have the keywords selected, what we're going to want to do is just add these keywords to create a plan. Uh, I, if you would have remembered from the previous step, we were able to go ahead and start by creating a plan, but this is a much more effective way to start to find your keywords and then create the plan after that. So I'm going to go ahead and add keywords to create a plan. Boom. Now you can see we have this plan saved right here. Now, if we go to forecast, we can go into forecast right here. We can go all saved keywords and go done. And then you can see here we have our location. Okay, so once you're here in the forecast section, you can see you have your draft plan name. So what I would do is just change this name right here 
to the actual product that you're change this plan name to the actual product that you are targeting. So mushroom keywords, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. You're gonna notice here we have all keywords. We have maximized conversions. You can change the bidding strategy here. Um, we can talk about bidding strategies, but uh, if you wanna get sales, select maximum conversions. If you wanna just get clicks, then select maximize clicks. I'm gonna do conversions in this case. You can do broad match, phrase, or exact match. Again, that's for you know a different video to talk about, but there's different obviously keyword match types for the keyword planner tool. So you can just start with broad match. That's totally fine. And and then you can see your location, your languages right here. So I'm going to change this to include the United States as well, because that kind of took it out. So I'm going to include the United States. And then for languages, I am going to go English right here. I'm going to go select that. And then we have Google and you can do Google and search partners. I'm just going to do Google here. And then you can see the date range. So if we wanted to forecast this plan and see what it's going to cost us, how many clicks we can expect and what our conversions are going to be, then we can do that for the next month. You could do it for the next quarter or uh, whatever time frame that you want to select. And that's going to actually take Google's historical data and identify you know, the peaks and troughs of how how much people are actually searching for these keywords month on month and give you an estimate of what you can expect over that time given your budget. So I'm just going to do November here. And then as you can see, you can expect to get 90 conversions for $900 with a $30 Canadian budget, an average daily budget. This is assuming with the keywords that we've targeted, we have a $10 CPA, we have 1.1 thousand clicks, uh, 19,000 impressions, $900. Our click-through rate is about 5.6, which is an average number that Google pulls out. Our average cost per click is about 0.84 cents Canadian. And then we can include our conversion metric, right? So we have an average of 2% conversion rate on our website that we can go ahead and add that in there. And then you can see here that we are getting a roughly 30 conversions at $900 at a $30 spend. So that's more likely what's going to happen there. You can adjust these as well. So let's say you have an e-commerce store, you know that you get an average of a 2% conversion rate here and your average order value on your store is about $100. Then you can go ahead and add that in here and you can see what the expected ROI can be for your campaign. So as you can see here, we would get 30 conversions. Our CPA is about $30. We would generate about $3,000 in conversion value given these metrics here at about a 3.3 ROAS we get 1.5 thousand clicks but 28,000 impressions and we'd spend $900 with a 5.3 percent click-through rate and our average cost would be about 60 cents so this is the most effective way to use the Google Ads keyword planner you can really forecast everything for your business once you add in those keywords and you can keep on iterating from this to improve your plan and really narrow this down for yourself now if you go over here to the keyword plan you can see your saved keywords right here you can see all the volume there all the estimates and what this is going to look like for you over time Again, this is just for Canada. So you might want to change this again to include the United States. I'm not sure why Google does this, but doesn't it kind of removes the location that you set in the original step. So you want to re-add that there. And then you can see your forecast for all of this. You can go ahead and organize your keywords here. So you can manually manually organize the keywords. I'm not really going to cover this. I don't think it's very relevant. What I would do is just create a search campaign and just add those keywords in that you found from the previous step. And then you can also add in some negative keywords as well. So in your keyword ideation step, if you found some keywords that you don't want to target, let's say shroom tech, you know, we don't want to target shroom tech, right? And some other keywords that we find in here that we really don't want to target because they're not really relevant for our search terms. We can go ahead and into the negative keyword section and we can add in these negative keywords and we can go ahead and select this and we can go ahead and add in these keywords and it's gonna ask you to add campaign to plan. So you're gonna need a campaign in order to add these negative keywords. What I would recommend you doing is instead of using this as the negative keyword planner tool is just using the uh, negative keywords list right here and just creating a negative keyword list for your campaign setting. So I have general and competitor here. So you can just do general negative keywords and start to add in those keywords to uh, a negative list that you want to exclude from your actual ad. So I'm going to go back to Keyword Planner here. Now you can see our plan is right here. So it's going to be saved for us and ready to go. So we can go ahead and select on this and that'll open up our plan again. And then we can look at all the things that we have from our previous step. If we want to go ahead and go back to here, go back to Keyword Ideas, we can go ahead and add in some more Keyword Ideas to get some other potential product ideas. Now, let's say at this step, instead of using a potential keyword, we want to use our own website to get some idea for what we want to target. So let's say we are Mudwater. So if you've heard of Mudwater, they have like a mushroom coffee type of product. Let's say we're Mudwater and we want to add in and start with the website here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in Mudwater and we can use the entire website or only the front home page there. So I'm going to use the entire website of Mudwater and go ahead and get results. And you can see it's going to do the pretty much the same thing that uh, the keyword planner tool does. It's just going to use your website and keywords that are found on your website to then pull in the different search queries for you. So as you can see, we have 389 keywords available to target. There's a little bit less search volume here, but we can see we have mushroom coffee, Mudwater, coffee alternative, we have uh, mud water reviews, 
some different keywords here, mushroom drink, lots of different things that we could potentially target. So that's another way to get different keyword ideas and use the keyword planner to get search volume forecasts, cost per click forecasts, uh, year on year changes, and then the competition level of the various keywords that you want to target. Okay. And lastly, let's go back here. Let's go back to the keyword planner. And then you do have the option to get search volume and forecasts right here. So this is another option where you can go ahead and paste in exact keywords that you have. So if you know that you want to target mushroom supplements and let's say lion's mane supplements, and then you want to target mushroom coffee, you can go ahead and add these into here. And you know, you can also upload a file if you have a really broad range of keywords already lined up, you can go ahead and upload that and then get started to actually view those keywords. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload these. You can see here, it's going to give you a search volume forecast for these different keywords right here for broad match, as you can see here, which you can also use these keywords as a new plan. And it's just a new way to start out the keyword planner tool. Again, from my experience, I would just recommend using the actual discover new keywords instead of the get search volume and forecast. But again, if you already have a bunch of keywords that you know you want to target, that's where you can use the keyword planner tool to upload that to get started. Okay. And lastly, once you have your plan, once you have your keywords that you actually want to target, you can go into one of your plans here. So I'm just going to go into this one with those couple of keywords that we have here. You can go to organize keywords right here, and then you can select manually organize these keywords, right? So once you're here, you can actually create a campaign, create an ad group. So you can create a new campaign here and start to set up this ad and actually go ahead and add in all the steps. So I'm just going to go mushroom keywords, add ad groups to your campaign. So you can add ad groups here and organize those keywords. So let's say we want to target lion's mane and mushroom coffee as two different ad groups and then mushroom supplements as a third ad group there. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And then you can see we now have the campaign name where we have our uh, mushroom keywords as the campaign. And then we have our actual ad groups that are organizing those keywords more effectively so that we can target individually these exact keywords more specifically here. So once we're at this step, as you can see, we have all of our saved keywords here on the right. So we can go ahead and drag in these keywords into the appropriate ad group as we need. So lion's mane supplement here, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this into lion's mane supplement. Boom. Now we have that keyword in there. We have it at broad match. If you wanted to just do phrase match, you can do that to get less, you know, mess of keywords in there, but you can just leave it at broad match. Then we could also do mushroom coffee into the mushroom coffee ad group itself. Boom. Now we have that in there as well. And then we can do mushroom supplements lastly into the mushroom supplements ad group. Boom. So now we have this entire campaign organized here. We can go ahead and name this. Let's say this is our mushroom product keyword plan. We can go ahead and save this. And then what we can do is actually go ahead and download this plan once we're ready for it. Once we think we have a really good plan here and strategy or what you can do, which is what I typically do is I just build out the search campaign and I kind of organize it in my own head. And then I go ahead and use the plan, use the keywords that I found, and then organize that on the ad group level when I'm building out the new campaign. Again, you have the option here. You can go ahead and download this plan as a CSV if you want to, and you can send it over to leadership or you can download it as a Google sheet as well. That's pretty extensively how to use the Google keyword planner tool. You do have this organized keywords into ad group tool as well. However, again, I don't typically use this that much, but again, it's similar to what we just did where you can further organize those keywords into different ad groups and just organize that campaign yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value from it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like. It really helps me grow and reach more people. Uh, a small channel like mine, I, I really, really do appreciate that. I'm trying to grow and reach more people and it means the world. Also, if you're in that digital advertising, digital marketing space and want to keep up with the latest content I'm going to be coming out around digital marketing and digital advertising, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And also leave me a comment letting me know any questions that you had, any issues that you have with the Google Ads Keyword Planner in the comments below. I'll be getting back to everybody personally there. And with that, thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and use the Keyword Planner tool for yourself, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.